got something special for y'all. Nigel's in the kitchen cooking. Let's go get some Nigel's Pit Blue recipe. cheese ravioli it's a stuffed ravioli um, you can find them in the grocery stores or tortellinis or any of that uh, any of the pastas um, you got lobster raviolis uh, and they, they it's, it's all about the film uh, filling okay. but uh, right here this is a dry ravioli and we're gonna we're gonna show you how to make a, uh, a seafood ravioli with pesto okay. pesto is uh, basil uh, pine nuts, uh, olive, olive oil. oil, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, uh, all blended together, a nice fresh herb. Um, so with that being said, we're going to walk you through this simple dish. And this is it's great. It's flavorful. Um, and, and I you saw you made, you made this I pesto. I made that from scratch. You can buy pesto. You can buy it. But with those simple ingredients, you said yeah. basil, pine nuts, olive oil, mm -hmm. parmesan cheese, Put it in a blender. In a blender. Bam. It'll be fine. Okay. So, I got my pan pretty hot. I, I'm using truffle oil. I already got uh, basil, um, olive oil in that. So, I got my shrimp going in. Okay. I'm using about five shrimp and three large scallops. Okay. Now with this one, I'm going to build my flavors. Mm -hmm. Put a little sprinkle, a little salt and pepper. Now and when you garlic. say build, you saying you're gonna have you know season throughout the dish. Throughout the dish. Okay. So you basically pretty much searing. Scallops, and shrimp, I ain't using enough oil, but I'm gonna throw a piece of butter in there. Okay. And now um, we're gonna finish this dish off with a little heavy cream too, to give it a little creaminess. Okay. And I don't wanna overdo it because we gotta add that uh, some spinach and the ravioli to it. Okay, so it's gonna, the seafood is gonna be cooking throughout the whole dish. Yeah. Okay. So and it doesn't take long. And it's a, a, a quick though. dish. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter to it. Okay. And this side uh, dish right here takes about five, ten minutes. Okay. I got some fresh garlic. I'm going to add that to it. I got some toasted pine nuts. Okay. And pine nuts go in the pesto, so I just add some uh, dimension to it. Right, because that'll be a little crunchy yeah. in the pasta dish. I got some spinach. Fresh I don't think I'm going to use all of this finish, but it's some big old leaves. Yeah. And I got that garlic in there, mm -hmm. so I'm going to add this, some white wine in there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and season again. Another layer of seasoning. Another layer of seasoning. Okay. Maybe I won't use all that uh, spinach. Well, it's straight. Yeah. Spinach straight, so. This is going to make that dish pop, that bright green. Mm -hmm. The lid is going to look good once, once you put that cream in there. 
Now right here, your ravioli is pretty much done. Okay. And um, the seafood is getting there. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is I like to add my pesto first. Okay. First, before what? The before cream? I put the heavy cream. Okay. I had the cream, put the, the dish with the cream last. I'm going to toss this a little bit. We have that, um, we have two seafood dishes on the menu at yeah. the restaurant. So, um, I'm sure a lot of people are interested to know how does he make that ravioli. Yeah. And this is a little different, but similar, right? Yeah. Similar. The, the procedures are similar. You just got to change it up, change up the, the ingredients. Okay, that pesto smells good. It does. We got those raviolis cooking. And you put the heavy cream in, right? I got the heavy cream in there. Okay. Let me have a spoon, please. Yes, sir. So we can taste our sauce and make sure we're doing good. We well, see the consistency of the sauce continuously changing. Yep. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is play it out. Are these tomatoes going in there? No, not yet. Oh. I'll show you. Okay. You what I'm going to do. Control. I'm going to put these raviolis on the pan, on the plate first. This is a real quick dish. That was fast. It's really flavorful. Going to make a a little palette on this plate. Okay. Then we're gonna. Can you see the ravioli? Move your skillet so he can see what you did with the ravioli the way you. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put that spinach down there with the pine nuts. Make sure you get the pine nuts in. And you wanna stack your scallops and your shrimp on the top. That's what they wanna see. They wanna see the seafood. <laughs> yeah. Then we got some pine nuts that's sunk to the bottom. We're going to try to put that on the top. There you go. Looking good, looking good. Put this over here. Now on the very top, I'm going to, those tomatoes that you was asking about. Okay. I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to top that with Parmesan cheese, fresh Parmesan cheese. You grated that, I right? Grated it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And there you go. And that's your seafood pesto ravioli. Uh, we're excited. We're going to do some uh, desserts when uh, we come back. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of things, uh, stay tuned to us, and if y'all like it, we're going to keep on doing it.